Long-standing rule makes alcoholic drinks a big no-no during the North Carolina State Fair, at least on the fairground. Drinking, it's called a session beer. But microbrewers and winemakers are making such an economic statement for North Carolina, the industry demands State Fair attention. Last count is $1.3 billion per year in, uh, industry for just wine and beer is uh, on our coattails. There's over 150 wineries in North Carolina, 125 breweries. It's big business. The businesses won't market on the fairgrounds, but they will meet fairgoers attending the Hunt Horse Complex, many of whom can taste samples of the wine and North Carolina beers, plus sample the horse shows that provide an entertaining break. We love this show, this venue. We, this is our second year here. We love this venue. Dan and the, uh, um, the, having the horse show here is great. It's a lot of fun, and I'm really glad the breweries are here this year also. The rules apply at the fair as everywhere else. You better be 21 years old to taste the wine or beer products, but be any age to enter and enjoy the horse complex. We can't sell anything they can drink here on the property, but they certainly can purchase and take it home and enjoy it. From North Carolina grown muscadines to the brew pots of in-state breweries, beer and wine makers are making their mark. This row of vendors reflects some of the best. We're looking for uh, businesses that kind of epitomize North Carolina. They're using North Carolina fruit in their products, uh, North Carolina beers that are kind of made here by North Carolinians. Um, so just kind of what people would expect from a North Carolina product.